Hey guys, Colin from Track Attack here. Today on our behind the scenes featurette, we're going to be talking about the cutting edge visuals that we like to showcase as one of the unique elements of Track Attack. Today, we have Abby with us, who is normally behind the camera, but today he gets to be in front of the camera and be one of the stars today. The really exciting thing that Abby's going to show us is how he uses his skills and his tools, these wonderful drones, to attain some of the awesome shots that we get during filming. Hey, Abby, thanks for coming out today and joining us. Thanks for having me. For sure, man. So how do you feel being in front of the camera today instead of behind it? It's a little bit different being on this side of the camera. For yeah, yeah. For sure, yeah. If you put the goggles on, will that help make it easier for you? You know what? Probably it could. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, today, obviously, I want to talk to you about the drones and, and some of the techniques and things you guys do to achieve, you know, the, the amazing shots we see on the episodes. So uh, I guess let's start off first, like, like, what do you do? You're, you're a drone pilot, right? It's what you do. Yeah, so um, basically, I'm an FPV pilot. So FPV stands for first person view. Oh, so that's um, fancy drone pilot, right? Yeah, that's a fancy drone gotcha. pilot. Gotcha, okay. Not that regular look at it and take <laughs> pictures, right? Um, yeah, so I fly uh, high speed racing drones, basically. Um, and I've uh, been doing it for quite a long time, probably about five, six years now. And uh, ends me up here. So clearly you have a lot of experience. I mean, I've seen you in action with these drones. Um, I know with the headset, it's a little different than just you know, seeing it flying through the sky. But uh, again, I, I've seen what you can do with these things. And, and frankly, I've been quite impressed at, at the ability um, at which you can well, fly these things in the first place and not crash into us while we're flying around the track at 100 miles per hour. But, but, but then the shots you get in the process, like this, the stuff you guys are capturing is just awesome. So, like, I mean, obviously, you know how to fly a drone. That, that goes without saying. Yep. Now, I mean, what kind of experience do you have in terms of capturing film or photography? Because I've seen the shots, and they're quite good. Like, like tell me about that. Just, uh, like, my little bit background on, on us and the rest of the pilots in the group. We, uh, mm -hmm. We're part of a, um, another racing group, uh, and then we kind of formed together, and then we've been working with uh, different companies and everything, uh, filming, filming different race shots, um, real estate, and things of that nature. So um, basically, all our racing drones are we we build them. Um, most pilots build them. Uh, they so, so you guys actually build that yourself from we scratch. Source all the parts and then we put it together. It was a lot of YouTube videos that <laughs> happen. Um, but uh, yeah, and it's it's a lot of information out there to do, to get it done on the internet. But uh, there's a lot of forums. When I first started, there wasn't a lot, so it was a lot of researching, and then yep. and now it's it's pretty popular. Yeah. So, like, I know one of the biggest differences with a racing drone, obviously, is the speed at which they can travel. That's one of the, the things I know that, that we utilize for our shoots so we can get some of the shots we're getting. Because, I mean, if we're flying around the track at crazy speeds in sports cars, you have to have some pretty fast drones to keep up. Yep. So, like, give me an example. Which one of these drones, for example, could hit the highest top speed? Um, I would definitely say the one on the end. It's more of a, this is definitely more of a racing frame. Mm -hmm. uh, you can just tell by the smaller body. Um, it can, uh, the fastest one is actually clocked at, I think, 200 miles an hour. So a racing drone can do 200 miles per hour? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So most cars can't do that. No. <laughs> so the no. drone will keep up to most cars, is what you're saying? Yeah, just not for a long <laughs> period of time. Right? True, because like the battery usage. fly for about two minutes and that's what's holding the whole thing back. Right. Is uh, just the technology on the batteries. Cool. So now here's another unique element that I noticed when I was out driving the cars and we were filming, is that the, the speed at which these drones can accelerate. I know we've done some shots on track, you know, I've had the chance to drive some very fast cars down the track, down the straightaway particularly, and I know I'm full on it in a very, very fast car, and it seems like that drone has no problem, you know, keeping up and then maneuvering around the car yeah. at the same time. So, like, how fast can, say, I don't know, one of these race drones accelerate from zero to 60? Zero to 60 in probably, like, <laughs> like seconds. Like it's, probably it's, a second or yeah, two, yeah. yeah that, that's what I assume from fast. what I've seen. It's quite yeah, impressive. Like, um, just because it's electric and it's a brushless motor, it's like a Tesla car, right? Yeah. Uh, high acceleration is just from the electricity of the brushless motors. Right. Uh, there's not really that many working components to it. Very cool. So now the other thing I know is really neat too is you can mount all manner of cameras on these. I, I know like this one, for example, I believe has a GoPro on it right now. Yep. Um, I know you have some other kind of GoPro-like cameras. I know we've also experienced the 360-degree uh, camera. Is that correct? Yeah. So can you maybe explain to us the difference um, between using a GoPro camera on one of these, but what kind of stuff could you achieve instead with a 360-degree camera? Okay. So um, 
you know, uh, basically most people do fly with a regular Action Hero camera. Yep. Um, you know, it, it's great for straight on, fast, fast paced shots. Uh, but what the three, 360 degree camera does is it gives it, like, it just opens so many doors to, like, um, post editing, um, cropping, and everything like that, right? Right. So, uh, it's actually taken a picture 360 degrees around the whole drone all the time. Cool. So as soon as you hit record, it's, it's seeing everything. Well, I gotta say, that's like really exciting stuff you shared with us, Abby. I know just being on set and filming with you, with you and your team, um, you know, and seeing these things in action has been phenomenal. I am really, really pumped to continue working with you guys and even more excited to really see the kind of you know, stuff you guys are gonna help us create in terms of the visuals and, and the content. So I gotta say, man, like, thanks so much for, for chatting with us today oh, and kind of sharing a you. little bit of your world there. Yeah. And uh, for everybody watching here, guys, stay tuned, of course. Uh, the first episode's gonna be out very soon. It's gonna be really, really exciting when you guys get to see the shots that are created with this equipment and, of course, the masters controlling the equipment. So stay tuned, guys. We have some really exciting stuff coming up. Episode one's going to be out very shortly. So subscribe. Make sure you don't miss that episode. We'll see you guys soon.